Hey, most insurance agents, companies, call centers, etc., will never spend $10 million on Facebook ads, which is why you should take it from me, someone that's done it, you should learn, take the meat from this, and then implement this into your own advertising and marketing. Okay, I'm Cody Askins. I own Cody Askins, Secure Agent Leads, Secure Agent Marketing, 8% Nation, and we have spent $10 million on Facebook ads over the last few years. And so on this video, I'm gonna take time and share with you the things that we've learned. Okay, when you spend $10 million over the course of a few years, you learn a lot along the way. Okay, so I'm gonna give you three lessons or things that I've learned by spending 10 million bucks. Okay, now you say, well, some of you are thinking, oh, free, this dude's full of crap already. Okay, well, we have clients that spend money with us. We have agents that buy leads from us and then we take the money they give us and we put it into ad spend. Okay, we've been promoting a conference for hundreds of thousands of dollars the last two, almost three years. Okay, we're also putting in money back into our own brands, other call centers, companies, agencies, IMOs, our own, etc. And that is how you get up to 10 million bucks over a couple years. Okay, so what I wanna start with when I talk about the three lessons we've learned and I want, to, I, want, I want to keep this pretty high level. I don't want to get in the weeds too much because I want you, when you get done watching this, to be able to follow along with what I'm talking about and actually be able to learn and implement some of these things that we are going to share with you. Okay, so one of the first lessons that I learned, okay, is that when you're spending money, it's all about one thing, okay? You are trying to get someone's attention when they're scrolling through Facebook on their phone when they're scrolling through Facebook on their computer, it's all about catching their eye. It's all about stopping them in their tracks. And what I've learned is to, to, to be a good steward of other people's money, to be able to deliver leads, we've generated over a million insurance leads the last few years, to be able to do all these different things, you need to be able to get someone's attention, stop them in their tracks, okay? And, and how you do that is a few different things, okay? You need to be, you need to be creative. Okay, when everyone's doing one thing, maybe another thing is actually a better idea to do. That's why I would say that we're pretty cutting edge compared to most of the people in our industry trying to do what we do because we're creative, because we're thinking about different colors, because we're thinking about different shapes, because we're thinking about not only videos, images, GIFs, graphics, etc., because we are trying to think outside the box with what we are doing when we're spending money. Okay, so if your ad looks like everyone else's, or if you pay for a course and everyone had done the ad this way and then you do the ad that way, what I've learned is there's a lot of market share there of individuals just like you that bought a course and did what that person said to do. Well, if a thousand people bought that course and a thousand people are doing things this exact way and everyone is in this specific box and they're all doing things over and over and over, you can imagine that, that would saturate the market over time and that everyone that's doing things just like that inside of that box, it's gonna drive their cost up. Okay, so that's why I'm not a big believer in buying courses. Okay, I'm thinking about coming out with a consulting offer to where we actually can coach people to learn how to do what we've done. Okay, but when you think about attention, you don't want to do the same thing for months, quarters, years at a time. You want to constantly be getting with your creative team, your marketing department to change things up when it comes to attention. Okay, so we typically reevaluate everything we're doing at least once a quarter, minimum, sometimes monthly. If you're talking about different states that, 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 that a lot of people are targeting, hey, if you're talking about Utah, Utah's a, you know, it's a bloodbath, okay, but we're having success there because we know what the freak we're doing. And when you spend 10 million bucks, when most other people never have, you learn along the way. So the first game is attention, okay? It's stopping someone. It's getting their attention. It's getting their eye, it's getting the attention of their eyeballs, the colors, the images, the focus, the text, above and below boxes. That's kind of old now, but et cetera, right? You see where I'm going, okay? So that's the first step. The first step is attention, okay? The second step is once you get their attention, what we've learned is the next steps. What are the next steps of what you're going to be doing once you get their attention? Because once you get their attention, that's only half the battle. Then you've got to get them to follow through on that attention, which means, which means that your 
landing page has to make sense. It has to work. Okay? Should you have some type of high intent video? Okay? Should you be giving them information? Should you have a strong CTA? How many fields do you want in your form? The more fields, the less likely they are to fill it out. Okay, so when it, we, we, and also you could start, when you talk about next steps, you could also start to talk about the actual follow up even after they fill out the form. Okay, whether it be through actually booking automated appointments on a calendar or actually driving inbound calls. What's that follow up process look like? Okay, so once you get attention, you think about, you gotta think about next steps. Because you think about next steps, now you're actually looking at conversion. I stopped them. Now I want them to convert. Now I want to extract the information. Now I want them to book an automated appointment. Now I want to drive an inbound call. And by doing that, this is where the good marketers, okay, along these lines, anybody can do this. Good marketers, people that are spending tens of millions of dollars, know how to do this better than those that aren't. Okay, if, if there's other people out there that haven't spent this amount of money, then they don't know as much as we know. And that's just how it works. Okay, so I want you to think about next steps. What are those next steps for you? What do you want them to do? What next steps do you want them to take? Okay, is it to a landing page? Is there a high intent video? Is there information? Is there a CTA? What's the form look like? Okay, what's the actual button color? What's the button text, etc.? You need to be doing constantly. We are constantly testing. Okay, we're testing out lead types right now that people have, people have never tried or, or developed or done for insurance yet. Okay, but when you have a larger department at a company, you can do those things. Okay, so we're constantly looking to improve what we're doing. Okay, so those, that, that's when it comes to next steps. Stop them. Then you want them to convert. What does that look like? Okay, this, we, we've learned that this is extremely, extremely important and valuable information about how do you actually get them to convert, get their attention, increase the buyer intent a little bit because I think it's one thing that I've, I'll say that for a bonus at the end of the video. Okay, let's move to the number three. Number three, never stop learning, and then I'm gonna actually release a bonus, okay? Number three is you can't stop learning. You have to always be learning. And the reason you have to always be learning is this thing changes. This whole Facebook ad, digital ad space, this, this whole ecosystem changes and morphs constantly, okay? Something will work for one quarter, and then it'll take a freaking bath the next quarter, because you didn't still adapt on how to get people's attention. If you run the same thing, if you ran the same thing, the same exact ad for ten, the whole 10 million bucks, it would perform probably 5x worse than it did when we first started using it. Okay, so you can never stop learning. That's where you're always doing A B test. That's where you're always trying to think outside the box. Okay, well, how do you do that? What does that look like? And how can you constantly be improving? Most people give up too easy. That's why always be learning is so important. Most people that are trying to do what we've done and how I've, what I've done over the last few, for several years, they give up too quick. They give up too easy. They forget that this is a long-term play and that you need to constantly be learning along this long-term journey because it's never going to be the same ever. Okay, even when you buy a course, the course is gonna change in three months, six months, a year, okay? That's why they wanna sell you the course because they're giving you old stuff that they're not currently doing anymore, okay? So I want you to think about how can you constantly be, always be learning, okay? This is where you can actually start to do your research. This is where you can actually look at what other people are doing. This is what, the first thing I think, if we're going into a new market, okay? Who is the expert in that market and how can I learn from them? Okay, that happens in our space a lot. We've got a lot of people that used to buy leads from us that are now selling courses about this stuff that I'm talking about, okay? I want you to think, what does that research look like? How do you change? How do you look? And, and who's doing what you wanna do, okay? So always be learning, super important lesson. You cannot undervalue this enough, okay? And then the bonus, the bonus is that as an advertising specialist, you can control who sees the ad and what they see, okay? You can't control, you cannot control, 
Okay, and the people that think you can or have lost their mind, you cannot control closing percentage as that it varies with the agent. You cannot control the fact that all of them will sit with you and that all of them will buy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so the bonus is that agents are so short-sighted that they don't see the big picture. They don't see the long-term play. They don't realize that if someone gives, gives me a lead, a lead has a level of interest. A lead has a level of interest from one to 10, okay? And it's the agent's job to take that information, that lead, figure out what the interest level is and try to move them up the ladder so they can convert them once they get to an eight, nine, or 10 on the interest level chain. Okay, so this is what we've learned. Spending 10 million bucks on Facebook ads in the insurance industry, insurance lead generation over the last few years. These are the three lessons that you can learn from the crap ton of money that I've spent. Hey, if you love this video and you wanna learn how to generate high quality insurance leads, then you wanna go there, watch that video, and I'll see you there. Today I'm gonna to go from start to finish on our entire advertising process to get a lead for an insurance agent, and hopefully you'll learn a thing or two